capturing the video for about 15 minutes now and it hasn't crashed so there's a very good chance that that maybe I fixed it I mean I'm, I'm still cautious but I'm optimistic so maybe we can play the game. Can play the game? I'm gonna do this again? Okay, it's... It seems to be working. Oh, let's hope it stays that way. So far, so good. Let's see if we can get through the this conversation. I'm so nervous right now that this thing's gonna crash. This is where it usually crashes. みんなが帝国軍も近づけない。噂じゃ見たことのない構成生物も出るらしいんで、禁止区域と呼ばれておる。まあ、放っておいたって奴らも構成生物ともにやられるってことだ。それでも僕は行きます。クレーメン、せめて一撃
keep starting and stopping and starting and stopping the stream. Um, but I'm having some serious technical issues with my uh, capture card software. It has been crashing pretty constantly for the past three or four hours. This is the first time it's gone more than 20 minutes without crashing. I don't know what I did differently. I mean, I don't know what I did that would change it. I started it with uh, my Super Nintendo going. So it's going under the settings that it initially went with that. I might have to just save whatever settings it's on. Um, it's also possible that my uh, SCART to HDMI converter box maybe was like at an angle and was screwing up the signal somehow and, and perhaps it was crashing because of that. I honestly don't know. I'm afraid to touch anything on the computer because it's actually working and and this is this is amazing <laughs> all right it seems it seems to be working well right now I'm very 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 glad that that, that it's functioning <sighs> I guess I can actually play the game now. Um, sorry for that huge tangent, but I'm just really... Uh, it's been a troubleshooting nightmare for the past two hours. Maybe longer. Can't really see me, it's... I have my light off and the game screen is kind of dark right now. So let's go in the shop. Let's see if he's open. Make a deal. Okay, now he'll buy and sell stuff. Maybe. Oh, sell items. Ancient currency, no monetary value, can be exchanged for some money. Got a lot of them. Well, I have nine of them. Or ten. I don't know what to do with these things. Well, what does he buy? Or what? What is he selling? And can I buy? Flash chip mesmerizes enemies. Sure, I'll buy one of these. Oh, he sells the mauler for three thousand. Okay. Berserk micro. Oh, that's like a SP potion. BP potion, I guess. Let's buy a few of these. being a lot more friendly now. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad this seems to be working. I don't know what I did differently. It might be my, uh, my scar to HDMI box. Ah. <sighs> Hello. Are you an old lady? I can't tell. 
No, you're a man. You sell stuff? Hmm. What are these guys? Provisions. Extra bedding. This game really is quite impressive. This was 1998. This was only a year after Final Fantasy VII came out. The entire game is vo fully voice acted. I mean, this, the models and everything, it, it looks like almost like a, a Dreamcast game. It kind of reminds me of uh, Fantasy Star Online. Just, I don't know, the movement, I guess. And how you kind of target things. I guess I'm supposed to leave now. Wait until morning. Oh, okay. Go north to the Forbidden Zone. Alright. Well, let's go then. I'm, I'm pretty impressed by this game. Explanation of battle system. New explanations? Okay. Effects of type select. By accessing the type select, you can adjust the basic abilities of your dragon. There are four basic abilities. When attack power is raised, your laser's power increases. Your gun's power remains unchanged. When spiritual power is raised, berserk power will increase. Also, spells require less BP. When defense power is raised, enemy attacks cause less damage. When agility is raised, your dragon's speed increases and your gauge fills more quickly. Some powers are inversely related. When attack power is increased, the spiritual power decreases. When spiritual power is increased, the attack power decreases. Defense versus agility. Agility versus defense. Okay. Relation of type and growth. The dragon's forms can be classified into five types. The way abilities change and how the dragon learns new berserk techniques varies according to the dragon's type. If you choose to fight in the attack type, not only will your dragon's laser firepower increase, but it will become easier to learn attack class berserk techniques. If you choose to fight in the spiritual class, your spells cause more damage and you're like more likely to learn spiritual class berserk techniques. Okay, defense, you can absorb more damage. Agility. You will develop a pattern of learning agility class. Okay. Choose to fight normal, your dragon will learn from each class randomly. Full gauge class. Each of the berserk techniques in this class are dedicated to each type of dragon. To use each spell, you need to change to the dragon's type, which corresponds to that technique. You will need three full gauges, but these spells consume no BP. 
Assault Wing, laser power increases. Berserk, increase lost BP without losing using an item. Protective Wing, decreases the amount of damage received. Swift Wing, the gauge increases at a faster rate. Healing Wing, regains lost HP. Skill, if you accumulate three gauges, a special skill will be activated according to the dragon's type. With attack type, when taking damage while accumulating three gauges, there's a chance the dragon will counterattack. Okay. Effective when you want to attack repeatedly. With spiritual type, when three gauges are accumulated, BP will slowly be recovered. Effective when BP is low. Defense type. Th three gauges are accumulated, your defense power raises, effective for preserving HP. Agility. Abnormalities of your status will be restored. Okay. With normal, HP is slowly restored. Okay. Practice type select. Here you can actually morph your dragon on the type select screen. Later on, the type which it belongs to will be explained. Okay, so the screen. So you could be like super high defense and attack. The current type is attack. Your dragon's laser power has been raised. It would be a good idea to use the laser as your main weapon. On the other hand, your berserk ability is weakened. You will need to use a lot of BP in order to effectively use your berserk techniques. With the attack type, when your dragon takes damage with all three gauges full, your dragon will occasionally counterattack. Effective when you want to deliver a series of attacks. The attack type specific berserk technique is Assault Wing. This increases his laser power. If you choose to fight in the attack type, not only will your dragon's laser firepower increase, but it will become easier to learn attack class berserk techniques. Okay, all right, that's that's fine. Uh, no, not that. So I can select dragon type. Oh, okay. So if I do that, my spiritual power is much lower. I'm gonna try this. Give that a shot. What is that? Hmm. I guess I could move all those boxes onto that thing. Stellarium. Shell plate. Oh, there's a save point back here. Get the item first. Save record. I'm so glad this is working now. I mean, I wish it was working for the past, like, four hours, but... What are you gonna do? I'm just... Oh. I'm just glad that it is working. The Zara. Intruder removal system. Well, that's interesting. Sure. Operate evasion system, okay. Ah, they dodged it. Can 
Interesting. So I just hit him from the side like this. Oh, they just go super evade mode when you go behind them. That's weird. Okay, but I can go behind them and build up my gauge, I guess. And if I go in front of them... Ouch. Are they weak? They are weak in the front. But they can do a lot of damage, too. There we go. Hmm. Okay. How's my health? I probably want to use a little healing item. So that's... Not sure what these are. What about over... Okay. Lazara skimmers. No, these are different. Intruder removal system. These things are like... Kind of robots. Didn't seem to hit him from back here. On the front, they're weak, okay. There's more of them. Go behind. Build up my gauge. Okay, they moved. Right into position. That works. Hey. Shell plate. What about you? Can I shoot you into place? Yes. I just have to get kind of close to these things. Items over here. Gibson lens. Field map. Well, that's useful. There's another item back here. Oh, another telepathy shard, okay. And then back here, these things. I think I'm about. Oh. I was thinking that that I okay. I was gonna say I was about to encounter an encounter, a random encounter, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure if the little map display thing is actually useful for determining that. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for them to move. Oh. Okay, they're just gonna shoot me. So I'll blast them. well enough hey leveled up cool
shell plate. Okay, a lot of these are random encounters. They don't even give me a chance. They move and then they shoot right away. They do a lot of damage to them. They're not too hard, but that damage. Heal. Okay, and then I need to access this little panel thing. There's an item over here. Gibson lens, okay. Another encounter. Skimmers. Yeah, these guys don't hurt as bad as the flying ones. So if I sit behind here and wait, they should move behind me and give me the opportunity to hit first. There we go. That's pretty effective. One more. Got him. Perfect. Liquern eyes. Liquern. Check the map. Okay, so I'm trying to move all of these. Ah, there's one. These little blocks into place. Is there one over here? I don't see anything. These blocks, I don't think I can access. There's one over here, though. There we are. as well save just to be safe doesn't take long anyway nope random cam okay the skimmers again they're very easy Just gotta wait for it. And there we go. Oh, really? Got him. Oh, leveled up again. Awesome. I'm getting a lot of experience here. Let's see. Any more blocks around here? Alright, here's the flying ones. These ones I think I need to take the initiative on. Oh wow, well, they, they just hit me immediately right when I went up. Yikes. Oh, I got a free counter attack though, that's cool.
Not bad. Still took over 100 damage, though. That's not good. So any of these? No. Perhaps it could be. Oh, is that one? I think so. No, that was an item container, I think. Okay, there's one more over here, I believe. There it is. Last one. Okay, let's go over to this thing. Can I enter it or something? Fly into it? I have no idea. had to target the right part of it, I guess. Crayman's elite guard. Oh, okay. Homing mines. That hurts. You got one. Almost got this one. Let's 
use a stronger healing item. Homing mine. That's not good. Wow. Okay. Okay, when they do the mine, you want to get out of the way. Let's use a small healing item. And then we want to move out in front, maybe? If we can. front really does much. get out of the way when those mines come. Let's try the chain laser. It's pretty effective, I think. Thing has a lot of health. Okay, let's heal a little bit. I'm on the front of it right now, yeah. Wow. It's kind of a tough boss. Okay, 
It's almost dead. close to dying. One more shot should do it. Here we go. Last one. Finish him off. Got it. Gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of sevens. Jeez. Let's try the chain laser, I guess. OK. 
Can I even hurt this thing? Oh, I can. Okay. Oh, its tail is weak. A lot of damage. has a lot of health. So I'm gonna get in front of it, I guess. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, that thing does a lot of damage. Don't wanna get hit by that again. hit back there. Ooh, ouch. That was tough. Hey, leveled up again. Laser storm. Cool. Disc one has been completed. Oh my gosh. Okay. Until you save your game. Press start. Save. Erase. Okay. Um, we switch this too. Okay, well, I think that's a good spot to stop. It's about 2.30 in the morning. I'm really glad that I got this to work. I can sleep a lot better knowing that the, uh, the stream isn't crashing constantly. Cool. Well... We'll get back to this tomorrow and uh, play this awesome game some more. So, thanks for watching and putting up with this nonsense. But, yeah. See you later.